Hey guys, and happy Vlogmas Day 14. Okay, so I feel like after every intro I say, okay, so, but do you get my point? Okay, so, um, basically the other day I got a Kylie Cosmetics package in the mail and when I opened it, it was just a story time waiting to happen. I have come outside, it's a really nice evening out, so I'm going to tell you guys this little story. Um, I didn't really get like scammed, but I don't really know how else to word it. It's kind of weird. I'm actually gonna check right now if they emailed me again because <laughs> I'm emailing them back and forth. What? Okay, so they emailed back and it makes no sense. So basically, um, on Black Friday, I ordered the damn Gina gloss from Kylie Cosmetics. And it's a gloss that I've wanted for a really long time and it was on sale I want to say for like eight or nine dollars so of course I was like okay I have to get it like this is the perfect time with shipping it came out to like the normal price without shipping so I ordered it everything was great of course I got on there like you know exactly the time I had like an alarm set because you know if you've ever gotten anything from Kylie Cosmetics it sells out in seconds I got the gloss I was super excited and I got the tracking number everything was totally fine and I got home and I got this package so I opened it up and when I opened it, it's eyeshadow. And it's the purple palette, um, which I personally would never use, don't know how to use. Like if I knew how to use it, maybe I would. But I have zero of a clue how to use purple eyeshadows on my eyes. I barely know how to use normal eyeshadows. So I don't know how to use purple. So I was like, oh, that's weird. They sent me the wrong thing. But then I looked at the slip and it's someone else's name and address. So basically the whole, pa like, the whole package is wrong. Like it wasn't just they packed the wrong thing to me. It's the wrong package um, because this is to someone named Logan. I was immediately like, okay, I need to email them. I'm assuming either I'll have them, like I'll have to ship that back to them and they'll send me my gloss or they're gonna have me keep this and I'll get my gloss, which in that case I was going to do a video called like I got free stuff from Kylie Cosmetics. But that is not the case. So I emailed them. I'll put it up on the screen, but I'm also gonna read it to you guys. So I said, hello, I recently purchased the gloss and just received someone else's order with an eyeshadow palette instead. The order says it's someone else's since the paper says someone else's name and address inside. My order number was blank, so I'm not too sure where my gloss is. But the order I got in the mail was the purple palette. Please let me know what to do next. I wasn't rude or anything. I got an email saying, we're so sorry for the mix-up. Please send us a single photo that shows the incorrect items you received, etc. We'll get right back to you. So... I sent over the photo and then I get an email saying we are so sorry about this issue as customer satisfaction is our top priority we've issued a refund for the purchase price of the product unfortunately we are unable to replace your item at this time so I get that I was refunded but I want my gloss like I'm not understand like so then I responded, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding why I can no longer have the product I originally ordered. If it is out of stock, I would expect it to be sent to me once it's in stock. Because now, if I go rebuy it once it's in stock, it's going to be full price and I just, played, I just paid a Black Friday price. Is there a number I can call because I'd like to speak to someone? So basically my logic behind this is because right now you're probably saying like, oh, how are you complaining? You got a free palette and you got your money back for the gloss. But I paid $8 for this gloss. If I go back and rebuy the gloss, I'm going to have to pay $17. So technically, I like I'm getting my I got my money back, but I still want what I ordered. So now when I go back and reorder it, it's going to be full price. Like in my head that makes sense. I don't know if it's just me, but if I go back and reorder it now, it's going to be 16 plus shipping, which is going to be like 20 something when I originally paid only 16. So I'm gonna have to be paying more than original, so I really didn't get my money back. So then they just emailed me back, and you would think they would say like, oh, I understand the confusion. Um, like, I don't know, you would think they would say something. But no, I literally got an automated message back saying, thanks for reaching out. Like, what? We've been talking this whole time. 
Thanks for reaching out. We are working hard to always have product in stock. Any out of stock product will be restocked as soon as it becomes available. Please keep an eye on our social media and Kylie's app to get restock alerts. What? I did not ask if I'm not. Clearly, I am out of words. Like, I, I honestly, is this the same person I've been talking to? Yeah, this is the same person I've been talking to. Does she think I'm stupid? Basically now, if I want the gloss again, which I've wanted this whole time, I'm going to have to pay full price, which is $16, and pay shipping on top of it. Instead of what I just paid was $8 with shipping, so it came to $16. So I'm gonna be paying way more than I should be, when in reality, I should be getting it shipped to me once it's back in stock, because I already paid for it, and this should just be like a sorry situation. I don't even want this. Like, if they would have said to me, ship us this back and we'll send you your gloss, I would have been like, great, awesome, cool. But now my question is, who has my gloss? I just like, I don't even know what to do at this point. They have a Kylie Cosmetics pop-up like an hour away from me, the one in Topshop. I may end up just going there and getting the gloss if it's available. I might call ahead, because that way I'll just get it for the normal price. But it's still ridiculous, like I don't get how they could just be like, Sorry, like I don't care if it's not in stock. I expect it to be ordered to me when it comes in stock. It just doesn't make sense. And the fact that I just got an automated message back, like I literally just got an automated message back saying like, thanks for reaching out. Like Maria, that's the person I've been speaking to. Maria, we've been speaking this whole time. There, I didn't reach out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really not like a long story time or anything crazy, but it's just like, it's really ridiculous. And I've seen so many times girls on YouTube talking about how they got scammed by Kylie or something with Kylie Cosmetics, or like they had the empty palettes or something like that. They're like the product was empty when they got it. And I have always heard horror stories about the customer service and everything like that. And it's just, I've never dealt with it. And I have bought Kylie Cosmetics so much you guys if I can put on the screen my like order history I'm going to because it's ridiculous like I have spent so much money on Kylie stuff and the fact that like they're right now just being like sorry like what but yeah it's honestly just weird I've never had a problem with Kylie cosmetics I just got Kim's new fragrance too which I am absolutely obsessed with if you guys want me to do like a review or anything like that let me know um, because it's honestly amazing like I'm obsessed with it so if you want to hear about Kim's new fragrance let me know you guys know that I'm huge fans of like followers and fans of the Jenners and the Kardashians so I don't mean to bash anyone I am more just bashing the customer service because technically Kylie didn't do this I mean she definitely didn't she is definitely not in the warehouse doing this but it's just like the fact that her customer service isn't helping at all and there's like there's nothing I can do and now I'm gonna have to go pay more money to get this gloss. I honestly like don't even want to pay for the gloss again. Like I don't want to give her more money at this point or give the cosmetics line more money at this point because it's ridiculous of how like unhelpful they're being. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you've had any really bad Kylie Cosmetics horror stories, make sure to comment them down below. If you like this video, to make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, make sure to turn my post notifications and subscribe for new videos every single day. I'm vlogging today for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm catching up on a day. So you'll see me in this same outfit tomorrow. Um, I'm doing stuff for this weekend in the vlog. I'm tie-dyeing stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for that tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It is so nice out I'm like loving it it's like 70 degrees and like there's a breeze but that is pretty much it and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video bye